There are so many nasty people in Hollywood, like Laura Wasser and her good friend TMZ. You guys may recognize Laura from the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trials, but she's inserted herself into many people's lives, and she's used TMZ as a tool to destroy them. So let's get into it. So many of you guys have been asking me about my weight loss. Last year, I wasn't in a great place and I didn't know how to take care of myself. But now you guys notice the glow up and I have to thank Noom. One of my favorite features on Noom are the food and exercise trackers. I'm always struggling to remember how long I worked out, which is super frustrating because I want to track my progress in life and understand how my body has improved. Noom can track your physical and mental progress by using science to meet non-scale goals. Non-scale goals take away the pressure from the numbers and and emphasize on meeting those mental goals. They even offer support like goal specialists who are trained in psychology, fitness, and nutrition. I love to read through their resources like lessons, articles, psych tricks, recipes, and more. Recently, I found a recipe for lean pork lettuce wraps that I can't wait to try. So check out Noom by clicking the link below or go to Noom, N-O-O-M dot com, C-O-M slash Sloan, S-L-O-A-N, to take your free Noom evaluation. Noom has so much to offer, and I can confidently say that they're helping me become the best version of myself. So use my link in the description below and let me know how you guys love it. Thank you, Noom, for sponsoring this video and enjoy. In this video, we're exposing TMZ and celebrity divorce attorney Laura Wasser. If you guys kept up with the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial, you would have seen a former TMZ employee took the stand and pretty much destroyed Amber Heard. He exposed her for tipping off TMZ and... Uh, you know, meeting them at the courthouse, you know, telling them about the bruise on her face and making sure they all knew to capture this. So she finessed and schemed with TMZ and that was exposed. But in Amber's defense, she believes that Laura, Laura Wasser, was working with Johnny's team to tip off information and to leak things to the press. And who had connections to TMZ? Objection calls for speculation. Uh, do you know? I who, do know. John Your Honor, spoke about Your Honor it. calls for speculation. The objection. Uh, did Mr. Depp tell you about who had connections with Ms. with TMZ? Yes, we talked about it. His lawyer, Laura Wasser. Okay. Did, did you have any communications with TMZ relating to the Depp heard divorce? I don't recall. It turns out that Laura Wasser has been in the Hollywood industry for quite some time. She's got clients like Angelina Jolie, Nick Lachey, Reese Witherspoon. Even back in 2007, she was Britney's divorce attorney during her divorce with Kevin Federline. Before we go any further, I do want to give a shout out to my friend Britney Hiatus because they made a thread and today we're going through this thread and making it a video. So definitely go and check out Britney Hiatus on Twitter. I will link them below but let's talk a little bit about who laura is and where she comes from because her father was actually a big time lawyer himself if a person doesn't have at least 10 million dollars we generally send them to another place we are always busy people are always getting divorced in southern california always all of our clients are high profile if you went on the internet they're easy to find because they've been in articles, they've been they know that. on television, they vision, already, et cetera. They already know. Okay. We are a family law firm. Family law is often a euphemism for divorce law. So Laura and her father, they are the big time lawyers. I mean, you need to at least have $10 million to walk through their doors. So that's pretty insane. But back in 2007, Laura was Britney's attorney and she could have honestly done a better job. 
Kevin Federline didn't have a job or a stable income, yet he was able to get a lot out of Britney. You guys know that Britney Spears' children mean the world to her, and for some reason, Kevin had a lot more control over them than she ever did. Well, this may add a little bit of clarity to that situation, because there have been leaked court documents where Laura was secretly working with Kevin Federline and Larry Rudolph, who's a scary person in Hollywood, they were trying to put together an intervention where they were planning to dangle Britney's kids in front of her like a carrot in order to get her to enter rehab. This is her own divorce attorney. This lawyer is working with people who are against her client and working against the people who are ultimately paying her. I wish we had some more insight into the divorce proceedings because I'd like to see what Laura did, but she conveniently sealed it, which seems like these lawyers know how to cover up their tracks. And she's actually been caught saying that she doesn't believe that these public events, these divorces should be made public. And I think by sealing Britney's divorce, she was able to maybe seal any mistakes that she could have made. You don't like that these filings are public. In fact, you don't believe that they should be public. That's true. And I've gone head to head with some of the news organizations in terms of, you know, weighing the interests. I understand the argument that keeping things public keeps judicial officers from giving preferential treatment or anything else. I have enough faith in our judicial officers that I don't think they're going to give anyone preferential treatment, whether they're private or public. And I do think that people have a right. I mean, you know, now we finish a divorce judgment and it says the address of the family, the custody schedule of their kids, the amount of support one party is paying the other every month, every car and piece of art that they receive, that's all available in the public realm. There's something about that that doesn't strike me as particularly equitable, even though these people have opted for a public lifestyle, they should be able to keep some of this stuff private. So we figured out a few loopholes and ways of doing that. But for the most part, for enforcement purposes, they are public. And, you know, that gives some great fodder for news organizations. I understand what Laura is saying there, because you do want to protect some private information. But the loopholes part is what rubbed me the wrong way. And it seems like she's definitely part of a system, an alleged system where there's just these people and these courthouses and in the legal world where they work together and they're friends and they do what they need to do to get the job done, whether it's right or not. Laura appointed this court commissioner named Scott Gordon to manage Britney's custody case back whenever she was divorcing Kevin Federline. And this man is not even a real judge. She went out of her way to go and sign her friend as this judge acting position as commissioner to handle Britney's like custody situation, which I, I just don't understand why we would, why can't you just go to a normal judge? Why does your friend need to handle this? And again, why is Kevin pretty much getting the children and these kids are being used as leverage against Britney to force her to do things? You guys probably remember that Britney's children were literally used as bait to force her to do things, to work against her will. And actually, Laura had a podcast. Why does everyone have a podcast? You know, you guys are working on my own podcast, but why does everyone have a podcast? Anyways, she had a podcast called All's Fair. I don't know if she still makes content, but she had this commissioner on her podcast and they talk about knowing each other for a very, very long time. And someone we are very privileged and honored to have join us today. Your Honor, welcome to All's Fair, Judge Gordon. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> I want to tell the listeners, it's really funny, when we were doing our prep call for this last week, so I've known Judge Gordon, well, has to be for probably 17 years, yes. at least, and I've, and, and I've always called him Judge Gordon. I mean, that's who he is, Judge Gordon, your honor. Johnny gets on the phone, he says, so Scott, let me ask you this, and I was like, oh my God, this is so awkward. Ultimately, Laura was able to negotiate a divorce settlement between Kevin and Brittany, but she then appointed her friend, Mr. Judge Commissioner Scott Gordon, and then she was let go. TMZ has learned that Britney Spears is losing her lawyer. The word we hear is that Britney was a problem client because she just didn't listen to or follow the advice that 
she was given. We actually have a video of Laura leaving the courtroom the day that she left Britney's case, and here is that clip. Are the kids okay? Everybody wants to know about Britney. Brittany's fine. So are you stepping down? We were hired to do a job and we did it and from here on in Marcy Levine at Freed and Goldsman will be handling the custody parts of the case. So Laura leaves this case and she leaves her friend Judge Gordon to handle everything and literally less than a month later he did something extremely drastic which I don't know if this was planned but he just took Britney's custody away from her. Look what are we going to do about Britney Spears? I mean I, I honestly I could not believe it this um, morning. Can I just tell you that I stayed awake last night? Did because, you know about it last night? But yeah, I, I saw it on the news, oh. and I stayed awake last night because I was just sick to my stomach. Over I can't the believe the court gave the kids to uh, uh, K-Fed. I, I mean, it's just like it's still we're still at this place where, as like as a as a culture, you can't really fathom the kids being taken away from by the, the mother. mother. Yeah, exactly. You can't think about it. It doesn't occur that it could ever happen. The judge was really upset. They said he was furious in the courtroom, so I guess he's just about had enough of uh, her shenanigans, you know, but mm. I, I can't believe because we've interviewed her over the years, you know, and, and all lovely. of a sudden to right. be in this kind of a situation, it doesn't make any sense to me or to you, I'm sure. No, I know. It's really very, very sad. It's very upsetting, and I, I just hope for, for the for the whole well-being of those kids that they all get their acts together and, and start putting them first it's very it's also very um dangerous a lot of times you, you see her when she comes or, or goes anywhere there's such an armada of photographers yeah. and lensmen now and there's going to be even everywhere. more if you could imagine that, yeah you know, you, know, you, you got to wonder what must the kids be yeah, thinking absolutely really yeah, very I, very sad I, it is upsetting hope she pulls it together you guys know that Britney is a fighter, and after her kids were taken away from her, she tried everything to get them back. But Commissioner Gordon, Judge Gordon, did not approve of this. And actually, there was a parenting coach named Lisa Hacker who pretty much stood in Britney's way. Lisa Hacker went and testified that she was concerned that Britney would have been neglectful to her two sons. But it's interesting because this woman, Lisa Hacker, who claims that Britney is so unfit has also been featured in other cases involving Laura, like her clients, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. So um, it's interesting how all these people kind of like work together. So at this point, Brittany is fighting for her kids, but she's got no luck. Laura is nowhere to be seen, at least in Brittany's life, but she's actually invited back. After Brittany was put into a conservatorship, Laura was invited back into Brittany's life to work on her case. She was handling the custody situation because you guys know that this was important to Brittany, but I don't understand why she's back working on the same situation if she couldn't get the job done the first time. And honestly, I don't think Laura ever intended on actually helping Brittany get her children back because she's just part of this sick system that seems to take advantage of artists in Hollywood. We have actual proof that she was paid by Britney's father through the conservatorship, and honestly, who knows what she did for Britney because Britney never got her custody back, so why is this woman, Laura, getting paid out? But let's talk a little bit about Laura's connection with TMZ because she has a very close friend there. Laura is very close to Harvey Levin, and he is a big part of TMZ. They've given Given her some nicknames like Disso Queen, and they give her a lot of good press. She obviously has some type of connections there because they're tweeting about her, they're covering her stories, they're even promoting her, her websites, like they definitely are tight. And if you're close with Harvey, you're going to get some connections. And actually, he came onto her podcast at one point and they shared that they were also friends for a very long time. You and I have known each other a long time. Yes. And you know that there are a lot of things that we get that we never, ever put up on our website and certainly not on our TV shows. And, you know, we, we have discussions all day long. There are things that cross our desk all day long. And, you know, we're doing this at a certain time right now. I've already been in my office and I rejected two of those things already today. So You rejected them because you didn't think they were actually true or you rejected them because they, you thought that they, they were actually... They, they, were, they were intrusive. They so were too you, intrusive. You do a balancing test, which is what? Well, I mean, 
celebrities have a right of privacy. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Look. You heard it here first, folks. Really? Because, Laura, I will tell you a story, a quick story, that when Britney Spears was in the middle of her divorce, and I don't even know if we've ever talked about this, but there was a document, and, and, and somehow this got filed through the conservatorship of Britney, <clears throat> and there was a document early on when we were at TMZ where it was shocking, and it involved her children, and... I looked at this, and it was public, and I said, this has got to be a mistake, and I called the lawyer up. It was in the conservatorship side, and I said, this can't, you can't have meant to have done this, and this lawyer freaked out and called the clerk, and the clerk sealed it, and the clerk made a mistake. Well, we had it as a public record. And, and you didn't put, and you didn't No. Post. Okay. All right. And, and, and this happens all the time. Once Laura was hired by Britney's team, she stayed on and she was working as their family law attorney. Back in 2018, Kevin Federline wanted more child support and she was there to help him out. Laura never made any serious effort to actually connect Britney with her children or to fix their custody situation. There's obviously something going on here because like TMZ is trashing Britney, who is Laura's client. Laura is close friends with them and they're promoting her work there's something going on here and it seems like this team is purposely working against britney and even when the free britney movement went down she refused to acknowledge it she went on to chelsea handler's podcast and they were talking about the free britney movement and like it's so clear that she one doesn't support it but two she doesn't want to speak on it because she's so involved it's disgusting that she is still against britney and if she were to get hired like today i would be screaming I would be worried because like she Britney deserves better lawyers and she's also just kind of a snake in the industry. I want to talk a little bit more about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation because Amber claims that Laura Wasser tried to kick her out of her home within 21 days when she was going through this situation with Johnny. So obviously the they would be Laura in this situation and we kind of know now that TMZ was notified by Amber's team. And that's how they knew about the whole divorce filing and the bruise on the face. But Amber does claim and name drops Laura as the person who actually went and leaked this to TMZ. And if she's like as close as we've seen, like, I don't, there's got to be something there. Been, making this go away. You, then, 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 you, then you need to know the real truth behind this. And this is important. This was completely private and was under the radar and you did not have to file back. And I warned you that day, if you don't have to file back, if you, if you file back, if it was just up to being discovered. And I'm thinking naively that it would just be discovered by the way that like TMZ typically discovers these things. I didn't know it would be hand delivered to them within five so it was like five minutes, not even. I did not know it would be given to them. I did not know I couldn't have known at that time how how much Laura was going to um, use TMZ um, to her favor. I did not know that. So I just thought naively that TMZ could likely discover it if it was filed on your uh, on your part. I warned you. I said this to you, thinking that you were going to be participating. I said, hey, just you know, you don't have to file. I'm not going to go after you. I don't want to stop talking to you or whatever, whatever. And you don't have to file. If you file, it just opens us up to being discovered. Because by for some reason, the way we file, what when I ate my lawyer when she filed, she did it explicit, explicit instructions to file within a stack of a bunch of other paperwork at the end of the day so that it would be it, it would be more likely to not be just and finally there's one more clip i want to play for you guys between amber and johnny where she's again speaking about laura being a source of this information well i was at the courthouse while team is posting things at the courthouse while i'm at the courthouse they're posting things about the cops never coming right 
then we, we provide proof. Then they say, oh, just one, one, one set of police officers. Then they retract their story, but they don't actually retract it like an objective media source would. No, what do they do? They just come out with a new lie. They go, oh, well, it was just one pair of cops, and she said it was two. And I said, no, here's the proof. We just subpoenaed the building for the actual security records to prove that was wrong. Okay, then what did they do? They came out with a new lie, a different lie. Okay, well, it was this. It was this. I mean, every step of the way I've had to take has been because that that news source is in Marty's pocket, in Laura, like that's from Laura's source. Okay, listen. Every step of the way. All right, listen. Here's the. Planted. All right, fine. You, you, you believe what you believe. I'm gonna I'm gonna call these people. I'm gonna take care of this. See what is going on. I will get back to you. Otherwise, listen. As far as I can tell right now, it sounds like you want to go to court and you want to. This up real bad. I don't. I just want to clear my name. I've been telling all the lawyers this in the beginning, and your lawyers knew this. You cannot don't clear up your name now. Don't let them lie to you. Don't let them lie to you. I have said only this from the very beginning. I only have my integrity. And they, the unfortunate thing is... What about mine? Take me to step further. What about mine? So Amber is saying that Laura caused TMZ, which... <sighs> I believe it, but it's like when it's coming from Amber, it's hard to like, you know, I don't know. Anyways, well, Courtney Love actually made a statement recently saying that Laura would never do such a thing, that she wouldn't go to TMZ and leak information. That is just a Offensive. So this is what Courtney Love had to say in defense of Laura because Amber, I guess, has been dragging Laura in court. I have a lot of empathy for what that must feel like for Amber. Um, man wow right can you imagine being her jesus um that if you use a movement for your own personal gain and you inhabit queer feminist intersectional spaces and you abuse that moment um then you know you i hope i hope justice gets served whatever it is um, and I think we should have less schadenfreude and more empathy for all concerned. Having said that, Laura Wasser would never call TMZ. Look, it's not like anybody asked my opinion, and I'm sure you don't, no one ever listens to what I know anyway. Harvey, Brittany, what was it Lou Taylor said? We don't comment on aliens impregnating people and what Courtney Love says. So, who cares? You guys can come to your own conclusion about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation and who leaked what, but you cannot deny that she's obviously involved with TMZ in some type of way, and she was a key character in Britney's conservatorship and making Britney ultimately look bad and her life a living hell, using her children as bait against her so i want to hear what you guys think about this situation i think it's really interesting to see like a lawyer and a and a news source like so publicly like i guess friendly with each other and then kind of like working together it's just like every day being here in hollywood i'm learning that everything is just an agenda it's all just pushed it's all planned it's all manipulated it's so fake it is literally so fake so um I'm not surprised, but I want to hear if you guys are. So comment below. Here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.